Hello fellow murderers. Today is Thursday, September 12th, 2024, and it's a great day to solve a murder. Today we have the calculated case of the body by hundreds of books, and we have three 4x4 grids with suspects, locations, and weapons. Our red murder clue today is the founding member's body was found by hundreds of books. So I think the library is going to be our location today, and we'll use our clues and evidence and our detective's notebook to figure out who was in the library and what weapon they brought. So let's go ahead and meet today's suspects. We have General Coffee, Officer Copper, Mayor Honey, and Chancellor Tuscany. The weapons today are a pitchfork, a poisoned candle, an angry llama, and a channeled text. And the locations today are the library, the old mill, the barracks, and the stone bridge. All right, let's check out our clues and evidence. Starting off with the fingerprints, this is for the pitchfork. Let's see. That looks like it's gonna be General Coffee. So we'll say General Coffee had the pitchfork. And then let's see, I see two clues here about handedness, both left-handedness. So we're looking for the old mill in the barracks. Let's check out the handedness of each of the suspects. So General Coffee is right-handed. Officer Copper is right-handed. And then these two must be left-handed. Yes. Okay. So for the old mill in the barracks, we can say that General Coffee and Officer Copper were not there. So that means that these two, Mayor Honey and Chancellor Tuscany, had to be in one of these locations. So that can also tell us, because there are only four suspects, that these two, uh, Mayor Honey and Chancellor Tuscany, could not have been either at the library or the stone bridge. So that gives us kind of an interesting grid here that we're working with here. We also can transfer this knowledge up here. So we'll say that because we know that General Coffee was not in the uh, the old mill or the barracks, that the pitchfork was not as well. Okay, so cross these two off. A channel text was certainly not on top of cobblestone. Okay, what's uh, where's the cobblestone? Oh, okay, the stone bridge. Okay. So channel text was not at the stone bridge. A heavyweight weapon was found at the stone bridge. Oh, okay. So let's look through the weapons. We've got a pitchfork, poison candle, the angry llama is heavyweight, and so is the channel text, but we just saw that the channel text can't be there. So the llama has to be at the stone bridge. Okay. Either Mayor Honey brought an angry llama or Mayor Honey brought a poison candle. Oh, you know what? I'm realizing too, we're missing something here. Um, with that, we see that General Coffee must have been at the library. So wait a minute, I think we've got our solution. General Coffee with a pitchfork the library yeah I'm gonna flip these over I think that's our answer but we still obviously have plenty more uh, clues to go through and a lot of information to fill in here one thing though is we can see that officer copper must have been at the stone bridge and that means that officer copper had the angry llama and I feel like those two are paired up pretty frequently which I kind of like I like that they have that relationship going so this also helps us with this clue now. Either Mayor Honey brought an angry llama or Mayor Honey brought a poison candle. So we know that Mayor Honey must have brought the poison candle because Officer Copper had the llama. And that means that Chancellor Tuscany must have had the channeled text. Okay. Um, and we're still trying to figure out of these two locations where these two were. So let's go ahead and cross that off and see what we've got. Okay, the other suspect with the same height as Officer Copper was not in the barracks. Okay, so Officer Copper is 5'5". Five five. So that's gonna be Chancellor Tuscany. So Chancellor Tuscany was not in the barracks, which means that Mayor Honey was, and that Chancellor Tuscany was in the old mill. So there's the full solution for today, even though we've already had it solved for a little bit here. So let's go ahead and just copy these over. And there's everything all filled out, all set and ready to go. So again, we have General Coffee with a pitchfork in the library. Let's go ahead and see if we were right. All right, we were right. Thanks so much for playing along with me today. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough and we'll see you tomorrow.